executive who can get a lot of、uh, money and resources for the community, especially Chinese American, Asian American business owners. Try to do is that、uh, the the city will come in to to certify all your business. It could be any kind of business. You must certify with the city before you can bid on the job. So that's what we try to do, Andy. So we're going to have、uh, everybody come in register. The city will come in to training us how to certify with the city, which is then we have opportunity to do public. Yes. 进行一个重要的对话，这只是开始。那么我和赖律师还有我们很多的志同道合的组织。呃，会在一起，今后会继续到各个社区去宣传，来增强企业的责任感。那么，让我们同心协力，建立一个更好的、美丽的休斯顿。呃、um, ，So I also need to speak a little bit in English. So today we have three major goals from this、uh, community event. Somebody's uncle. Did anybody here have a family member that passed away? You were lucky this time. But we all know there's going to be a next time. Category of that hurricane was. Rita, you're asking me the number category. It was it was a category two or three. I think it's category three hurricane. It was four. four. Well, it was, I don't know if Rita was a four or not. Ike was a four. Ike was a four. Ike was a big one. Rita, Rita hit more on the east side of our community、uh, and caused serious problems. <laughs> The biggest issue that came up with the power outage was in Baytown and East Houston. It came in a little bit more towards towards the、uh, Beaumont、uh, Port Arthur area.、Uh, Baytown East End lost power, and it was actually going to take out about 60% of Houston's fresh water supply with the power to the pumps that actually pump the water from the Trinity River. City Council, our residents not accepted, and we are demanding, not asking, but demanding for accountability and to to hold Centerport accountable for their actions. Loss of life. Loss of resources, loss of funds. Many of our residents don't have the funding sources to go to hotels or not even motels. They don't have generators. You know, and the generators that they were selling were so expensive, no one could afford them. And even when you could get them, how do you even operate them? There was a lack of resources and education. And one of the things that I really want to encourage all of you as residents, leaders, stakeholders, is con contact. Not just your state legislators, but your county and your local council members to talk to them about emergency preparedness、uh, programs, as well as what are the strategies, what methods are we going to take if and when this happens again? Because it is important for us to prepare our stakeholders of what's to come. Because if they're not prepared, how can we overcome in the midst of a storm? My name is Joanna Ray. And I serve on the executive staff in community engagement for Houston City Controller Chris Hollis. As today, we all come here for one purpose: very basic requirement. We want our daily light. We want our daily light system. We want a good life, good quality life. Thank you, guys. Thank you.